I'm Jay Rosendahl. This is Cultivated Live from Planet 13 in Las Vegas. Krista and Jeremy are joining me on this side of the table. And John Bond, JB, from Illicit Gardens and From the Earth, Missouri. Yes, sir. Welcome. Great to be here, dude. Are you comfortable in a dispensary? You know, I've been in a couple of them, uh, <laughs> so I feel like I'm a little on edge, but no, dude, this is great. Everything's great, man. This is awesome. So fun, right? Happy to be here, man. Yeah. And Tell- it's officially like Christmas time. With I know. Like the, uh, yeah. it, was, uh, I, it was the first time I'd moved Christmas trees, Yeah. and I did it, it turns out I did it wrong. <laughs> These ones come apart, and I didn't know that, so... You don't, you don't have experience. I don't have any experience. Doing, all my experience, <laughs> all my experience was yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, wife and I just set up our, our first Christmas tree in the house in Missouri. So, first uh, Missouri Christmas back in Kansas City, um, which is cool. Snow yet? Uh, yeah, dude, we got like two inches of snow oh. last no. weekend. Like literally, like a day after thing. It's pretty unceremonious. It was like, well, and Thanksgiving snow's and winter. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Give us, uh, give us the footprint. Tell us about Illicit Gardens. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're a vertical brand out of Missouri. Um, we have a uh, cultivation manufacturing license out there. And then we also have our retails, which are from the earth, Missouri. Yeah. We have five of them. And then we just uh, acquired two dispensaries in New Jersey. And we are moving into New Jersey as well, too. And those stores will be under the Illicit brand um, once we get there. So um, super excited to... Move the brand beyond the state, but um, the last, you know, couple, we've been in Missouri now since uh, medical started, right? Um, we've got almost 400 employees and uh, just, you know, trying to provide great plant medicine to the good people of the Show Me State. And it's, a, I don't know how to say this. People in the Show Me State like weed. Dude, people love okay. weed. <laughs> I, didn't wanna, I don't want to offend anybody in the Show Me no, State, but they love weed. They do, and, and, I, yeah. and I say this all the time, but it's different growing up in the Midwest versus somewhere like California, Oregon, Washington, where it was just so much more accepted um, in terms of like cannabis being like a normal thing. And so like, I I call it closeted people. Like I stand on our dispensary floor all the time and I'll talk to like, you know, little old ladies that are like whispering and I'm like, Hey, I'm like, you know, you don't have to whisper, right? It's like, you want to yell weed as loud as you can. And like, and then they go up and spend money and buy their first, you know, cannabis transaction at dispensary. And like seeing that moment over and over again with what I like to call good Midwest folks is like, one of the coolest things ever, man. So it really shows like the universal like application of what we're doing. Yeah. And we talked about the Midwest a lot. Uh, yep. Uh, we had someone on from Minnesota talking about Wisconsin, talking about South Dakota, North Dakota. Like, it's happening, but nowhere is it happening with the same gusto, certainly the numbers would suggest, as in Missouri. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that like a blend of like, um, I don't know, like people liking cannabis and having a very big medical market beforehand and like a libertarian bent like mixed together in some sort of sauce? I think it's both. Um, you know, Missouri's one of those, you know, I've lived in far more political places, yes. let's put it that way, right? Everyone's kind of, uh, let's show up and, and go to work. We're all pretty aligned, you know? Like, people don't stray too far one right. way or the other. I mean, um, but, you know, it, it's also the do with the fact that there's it's the only state in the union that touches eight other states, and, like, five of those don't have an adult-use cannabis program, right? So, like, you got Kansas, no medical, no adult use. Um, Nebraska, no medical, no adult use. Oklahoma, just thumbs down adult use. Arkansas, just thumbs down adult use, and they're both medical only. Iowa as well, and you've got the Tennessee side over there. So it's, it's insulated. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and so the the nice thing is, we obviously we have great loyalty partners that we can see heat maps of where our customers come from. And while we absolutely never advise or encourage anyone to travel across state lines of cannabis, people are visiting Kansas City and hitting our stores all the time. So it's um, in big ways. Yeah, in big ways, all the way up from like St. Paul, Iowa. When I say like returning customers that are coming more than like once or twice. Um, so that's a super cool thing, man. And I, and I think the other piece to it too is like, you're catching people that, you know, are so, so new to cannabis and cannabis in the eight years that I've been in it has evolved so much. Like you find products that actually meet people where they're at, like the lower dose gummies that are more effectively dosed. Right. So that people like my mom, uh, you know, isn't losing her mind and hating weed forever after she tries one. Right. All the way up through like the high dose stuff that like, you know, my wife and I enjoy. So like, um, it's all just like a, I call it like a perfect storm of, you know, opportunity for people that are trying to build something um, and are passionate about the industry. Yeah. And New Jersey. Yep. Thinking about New Jersey, is that based on well, opportunity? Well, one yep. legal, opportunity, market size, regulatory, sameness. Like what is the or just because they're all one to one opportunities. We're looking at we look at a lot of deals in other states. We have a ton of uh, operational experience um on our side from both the retail and the cultivation side so like it's kind of one of those things where like you have 100 conversations and you do three deals um but you know 
New Jersey was one that seems like it doesn't seem it will be and will continue to be, especially you know as New York ramps up. Everyone that works in New York lives in New Jersey. Um, is uh, not doing ramp up. Yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, someday. Uh, fair enough. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short trip over the bridge for a lot of folks, so, though, right? Yeah. Um, and so. You know that's that's a that's a really cool thing, and then we're also looking at other markets, li limited license markets for sure. Like yeah. as much as like you'd love to have like the pride of going to build a brand in California, right? I, I know better, right? Like mm -hmm. you know that's there's a lot of really established brands out there and a very defined and well, and you know, obviously the myriad of problems that come with like taxation and everything. So mm -hmm. we're very specific about where we want to land. Um, but New Jersey is the one that made the most sense now, and we're also very cognizant of not like spreading ourselves too far or too thin. Um, you know, our senior leadership team is like I said very experienced and, and we've made enough uh, mistakes in the last 10 years to know not to make them twice and not that, you know, we either have or haven't. You can also learn from other people's mistakes and watching um, people in that way, which, you know, my experience prior to elicit and from the earth, I saw a lot of that happen as well too. So it's able, it's nice to be able to run that up uh, against, uh, you know, the situations that we're in. Um, I'm gonna tease a story that you can share if you <laughs> feel sure. comfortable doing it. Part of being so high profile in Missouri is that when famous people come through, they want to get their read from you. <laughs> Talk sure. a little bit about sort of an experience you shared with me prior to coming to Las Vegas. Um, yeah, well, that's honestly probably one of our favorite parts because the, the main concert venue in downtown Kansas City is T-Mobile. And then a lot of the pocket venues, I mean, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Kansas City, it's not like a huge place, right? The downtown area, what they would consider Kansas City proper is about the size of like the, a tenth of the island of Manhattan, okay. right? Yeah. Entirely, yeah. right? So. Um, <laughs> When there's artists and stuff like that, they usually stay downtown. Or we have a downtown dispensary that they usually notice, and then they'll, they'll hit us up. And so, Modest Yahoo, who I know you and I are both incredibly partial to, <laughs> as as tribe members, um, he was in town and he was doing an acoustic show. And uh, you know, usually when you get phone calls from people, um, you know, it's like their guy or their girl, and it's like your three people removed. And Modest Yahoo just calling people up, hey, it's Modest, how are you? It's like, hey, very hot one of the most humble cool dudes in the world so um of course being a huge fan i think that was actually like one of the co first concerts like i smoked weed at and got in trouble 